glow outside of What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid by ousting McNamara. It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last Elder's style, either. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for... well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty, or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. Nah, it's not so bad. The world outside isn't exactly a paradise, you know. Still, you can only breathe recirculated air for so long. We've got more than a few people in here who are going a little stir-crazy. I don't have time to think about silly things like politics right now. My main concern right now is getting this blasted data store up and running. Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? What? No, that... that's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? I heard some special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to.
Ten seconds. had at that time. Did you want to try isolating the virus? All right, I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give the signal, start checking terminals. The virus just jumped. Find which terminal... Second. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. Now, man, you actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take-charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. Well, you'd have to get a senior-level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. How may I assist you? Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? What is it, Outsider? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every Initiate learns when they start training. What about it? I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders. 
and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. What did you have in mind? Found the missing patrols, or was something... They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Hello? What do you want? And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends.
Hello. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate, and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting. Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. 
The NCR has forces in all directions and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Bye.
What is it, outsider? Have you discovered anything? That's a sensible notion. Your familiarity with the nearby terrain makes you perfect as a liaison. I've been trying to get the Elder to send out scouts for years, and he's always been resistant to the idea. Said they'd be a vulnerability. I wonder what changed his mind. I could hardly call myself he Second part, what are you talking about? Then that means I can cast McNamara down for giving those secret orders to my paladins. Well done. That's exactly what I was looking for. There are a number of people I'll need to talk to. The process won't be instantaneous, but with this evidence, my path is clear. It shouldn't take more than a few days, and then we can begin moving forward again. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family, make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, Report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Later. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Welcome back, my friend. What can I do? Well done. This is a small step in the right direction, but it's damn good to move forward again. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. I can give you this, however, your very own suit of power armor. We can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Not even close. Power armor isn't something you wear so much as use. It's a weapon in its own right, and takes skill to wield. If you don't know what you're doing, you won't even be able to walk with it on. So how about a bit of quick instruction? Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. There, I think you got the hang of it now. Should be able to use any type of power armor you come across using what you just learned. Very well then. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. 
I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. You are free to come and go as you please, though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside, brother. Let's see what you got. Need to lighten my love. 